Hey friends, I'm Simple Cheeks and welcome back to another Speed Build. Happy Sunday and I hope you're all doing alright. Today we're back building in Brindleton Bay which is the world that came with the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack. And we're still building something small today. I hope you don't mind. Today's build is a micro coastal farm. And I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, we're currently building in a 20 by 20 lot. And I think it's called Bedlington Boat House. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna make sure to put uh, the information in the description box about this lot in this build. But if you can read, uh, the lot name on the upper left corner of this video then that's where this one goes and actually I had another build uh, that was supposed to be today's build it's also a farm but it's definitely bigger than this one I built that one on a 40 by 30 lot I think so it's more like suited for a family um but i uh, i'm not yet done with that build i'm still figuring out uh, what else to include in the exterior but uh the structure of the house and the interior and mostly of the exterior is already done but it it just didn't make it for uh today but i am hoping to finish that farm this week so it would be ready for next weekend's speed build so i hope you watch out for that but anyway for this build this is mostly still um inspired by the sims 4 horse ranch expansion pack i still used a lot of items from the new pack and I just really wanted to do different kinds of builds using the new items that we got. There's no horse in this build, but we do have a pen for mini goats and sheep. And I think it can fit three to five uh, mini goats and sheep. When I did latest this build and for uh, the screenshots, I did bought uh five mini goats and sheep so i think it looks all right but you can probably fit more than that but it would definitely look too cramped then we also have a fenced in area for uh, the chickens that you can see here on the right side of the house and uh for other uh, outdoor activities we have a bee box and of course these uh, plots from cottage living so your sims can do some gardening and i think i was also able to include a um griller is that correct you call it a griller but yeah um it's it's that thing that you use for um doing some barbecues but yeah uh, for the exterior i went with this blue siding from uh, the horse ranch expansion pack and i used uh, these doors and windows from growing together and i think uh, I chose the cream color uh, for those uh, door and windows and I think it just looks really good um, with the blue and I just really like the exterior a lot. I think it just fits really well with the coastal theme that I was going for and by the way this is not pack restricted so I just really wanted to have fun and combining different stuffs and from different packs and so yeah I used quite a lot of packs for this one uh, maybe uh, for the next uh, few builds I can do some pack restricted ones and of course I do really want to get back in building for uh, my save file which is a base game compatible save file so right now we're still working on the exterior now for the exterior i mostly used um plants and trees from the debug items i think i used um plants from of course cats and dogs uh just to match 
um, the surroundings and then I used a combination of plants and trees from I think this is from growing together or horse ranch yeah I think uh, it's those three so growing together horse ranch and then um, high school years I think also and then for the interior uh, I used the new swatch for this base game wallpaper that has this paneling at the bottom and then the flooring is from cottage living and then for some reason I always forget to paint the ceiling so we have the default ceiling for this build but if you want to change it you can definitely do so and for the interior we still continued with the blue accent color and uh, here in the kitchen I used the uh, kitchen counters from the country kitchen kit and I matched it with this cabinets from jungle adventure I used this one because the cabinets from the ki uh, country kitchen kit has this purple uh, curtain for the swatch that I chose for the countertops so I just decided to use another uh, set of cabinets and then we're currently trying to figure out this uh, area so I decided this to be the living room but it's it's really small so we just have this one armchair that is from the horse ranch expansion pack and i really like um this swatch of that armchair and then for the dining area we use this table from cottage living and the uh chairs are from the horse ranch expansion pack and then we're just trying to uh, figure out uh, the clutters that we're going to use for this space. I think I used a lot of items from uh, Country Kitchen Kit and of course Cottage Living because I feel like they match this style really well. And then right here we're just finishing up the kitchen. Now I used this uh, fridge and stove quite a lot on my recent builds this is from the country kitchen kit and I just feel like they fit um, this rustic uh, types of builds so I use them a lot but uh, I'm trying to use a different uh, set of uh, fridge and stove on my next build and then right after this uh, by the way um if you get to the screenshots later on uh the kitchen would look uh different from this one because when i was play test testing it uh there's something that's blocking my sim off when cooking so i had to change some things but um yeah you'll see it in the screenshots later on but hopefully um i test uh, i tested the kitchen again and it works so hopefully uh, nothing uh would block your sims from now on in cooking and then here in the bedroom uh we just uh, continued with the blue scheme so this bed is from the horse ranch um, expansion pack and these curtains are from growing together and I used it in this blue swatch and I just think that it really fits um, the bedroom or the vibe of the bedroom here and then um, I used this uh, curtain rods from the desert Lux kit and I think after this we're moving to the bathroom and this is the last um, room that we're going to decorate so anyway i think we're about to head to the screenshots in a while so i'm going to wrap this up so if you want to download this build it is already up in the sims 4 gallery my id is simple cheeks which is the same as my youtube handle and everywhere else you can also find it under the hashtag simple cheeks if you want to download the tray files they are completely free and they are linked in the description box below Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a wonderful weekend. Let's talk again on my next video. Bye!